with that said, I want you to obey my commands, protect yourselves at all times. Obedezco mis comandos y por ejerce a su mismo siempre. Touch them up now. Good luck to both of you. Tokenlo, buena suerte, hombres. All right, we didn't get a chance to comment on the tail of the tape, but we can tell you that Casamayor is an inch taller. The reach is the same, the weight is the same, and of course the big difference is Casamayor is 40 and Bradley is 28. Bradley's undefeated 27-0. Casamayor is a two-division world champion in his own right. So we're set to go here. The rules. Ten point must scoring system no standing eight count no three knockdown rule a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round only the referee can stop the fight in case of an accidental foul you go to the scorecards after four rounds in the brown and orange Timothy Bradley the old Casamayor the southpaw in the white trunks and immediately you notice their feet getting tied up but remember what Rich Murata told you this Casamayor is a slick guy he knows every trick in the book. Oh, Tim is going to have to be on guard for this fella throughout the course of the fight. Some of those tricks aren't always legal either. <laughs> Let me tell you with Casamayor. Yeah, and then Bradley is notorious for head clashing, whether it's intentional or unintentional, but he already landed one big looping overhand right. Casamayor, very skilled counter puncher, still moves pretty well, powerful right hook, and very smart in the ring that Tim is going to have to deal with. You see the way he grabbed on him there? Tim pushes him away. The strengths of Bradley, of course, is a fine jab, fine boxing skills. And he wants to fight Manny Pacquiao next, though. He's got to win tonight. You see Casamayor throws a punch and then grabs and spins him around, tries to get him off balance. But that's not going to frustrate Timothy Bradley. Well, I think he's got to win, and he's got to win impressively if he's going to fight uh, Pacquiao, because he's sort of in a lose-lose situation. He squeaks by, then he beat a 40-year-old uh, Casamayor, and if he for some reason does not win, then it, it doesn't really bode well to, for a matchup with Pacquiao. Uh, he won't get it if that's the case. The trouble is, Casamayor, in spite of the fact that he's 40 years old, is a difficult guy to beat. I mean, he knows every move in the ring. Vic Draculich warns him about the head. And then Mario, as you mentioned, Timothy's no stranger to headbutts either. I talked so, to Vic Dracula yesterday. I said, you're going to have your hands full with this one. <laughs> he, and he acknowledged knows it. it. Yeah, so he was he was ready, he said, uh, for it. And you saw that obvious headbutt by Casamayor, who just got tagged. Casamayor, known as Cepillo, or El Cepillo, meaning a brush. He was, from the beginning of his career, he's always been able to just brush off opponents' punches with ease. His, his uh, competition, his record has been unbelievable, far better than Bradley. Certainly the likes of Asaleno Freitas, Nate Campbell's, a couple of just uh, tremendously memorable fights against Diego Corrales, Lamont Peterson, Michael Katsidis. I would, I would venture to say he's probably the most successful Cuban that's come out of Cuba, wouldn't you say, according to yeah. my resume? For the most part, a lot of those Cuban champions, Bob, that have come out with a lot of hullabaloo and hype, you know, they really haven't been, uh, they really haven't turned out to be those that great of pros, well, except for yeah. you factor in longevity, right, Colonel? Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, they, they just didn't adjust to the pro style, but this guy certainly has. Rich, you probably gave it to Casamayor. No, I gave no, it to Bradley. Timothy Bradley, yeah. All right. And Mario, how about yourself? You know, that was a very close. Brown actually gave it to Casamayor. I thought he landed a couple of big lefts. Okay, so we get a totally split. <laughs> one, one, and one here. <laughs> this is round number two. Casamayor starts with a jab. As soon as Bradley closes the gap, he gets tied up by Casamayor. Bradley made his big. Splash, and it was a big shock to many, especially over in England when he knocked Junior out Witter. Uh, Junior Witter. Right. Beat Junior Witter. Didn't knock him out, but he beat him uh, decisively, had him down. I can remember watching that fight. I think it was the sixth round when he knocked down Witter. The shock on the from the fans in England. They couldn't believe it. They're going, who is this guy? Coming out of the desert. And, I mean, he's got a fan-friendly style. He likes to swarm you, throws a lot of punches, attacks the body. It's hard to do that with a southpaw, especially as one as clever and savvy as Casamayor. As he gets more famous and continues in his career, providing he has a win tonight, he's going to be a very popular champion because he's just that nice uh, sort of guy. His win uh, over Junior Witter for the world title was in May of 08. Then he defended that uh, title five times, and then in 09, he won the WBO title, beating Michael Katsi, um, uh, rather Kendall Holt, by unanimous decision. So that this was guy a, can fight. That was a. Uh, 
a very good fight, that fight with Kendall Holt. Mm -hmm. His last fight was just a dreadful bore against uh, Devin Alexander. And Tim took a lot of criticism, as did Alexander, but he was the winner. I asked him about it. I said, were you expecting the level of criticism that you got? He said, no, He because that really shook me up. I never expected it to, that people would react that way. You know, he was all happy after the win and yeah, everything. Of and he got, like, no credit for it. Almost because the fight was not an action-packed fight. Not an action-packed fight. It was at a horrible venue. The promotion was bad. There was just a lot of factors involved. In well, he's having a good round number two. If there's any question around number one, he's making Casamayor look like a 40-year-old here in this round. Ma ma let me make sure you heard that properly. A 40-year-old, <laughs> <laughs> not a four-year-old. Of course, the big thing for Bradley is he changed promotions from Thompson Promotions to uh, top rank, which he feels will promote him in the way that you can become a big star. Top rank is the best at taking your fighter, marketing him, making him star, matchmaking. Casamayor in white, Tim Bradley in the brown, chocolate trunks with the orange trim on him. You see Casamayor now doing a lot of hanging on and hitting. He knows how to survive and take it to 12 rounds. He had a real decent first round, I thought. And Timothy Bradley is taking care of that in the second round. Just cracked him with the right hand. <laughs> well, if we talk about Tim Bradley as we go to round number three and the importance of the fight for him. For Casamayor, it could be a career ender to lose this fight. To win the fight, he could uh, pick up a big, big shot himself and a big money fight for one last time. He got cracked that time and went back on his heels off the right hand of Tim Bradley. Tim wants to load up shots now. He threw that right hand again with a lot of power. And Casamayor doing what almost you have to do when a guy smothers you like that. Grab him and walk him back on the heels so you can't feel the power. Doesn't make for a pretty fight, but you can survive. Remember Francois Boder against uh, Mike Tyson for the first two or three rounds? Until Mike got a little bit of punching room and then it was lights out for France. Well, Timothy Bradley knows the platform he's given right now and knows how important it is for him not only to win, but to look impressive doing it. Well, Casamayor pushing down in the head. To me, he looks like he's trying to survive this fight right now, and it's very, very early. It's only in the third round, and Tim wants to do what you said, Mario, be impressive in taking this guy out. Doesn't want to go 12 rounds with a 40-year-old fighter, in spite of how crafty Casamayor is. Every time Casamayor grabs and walks him back now, the crowd starts to whistle. I think the youth, the volume of punches, the aggression will inevitably take its toll. But let's hope he doesn't go in there with reckless abandon. The nice straight right hand by Bradley. Bradley's starting to clip him many more times now. Because all Casimir is doing is letting him close that gap without throwing and then grabbing onto him. So, tries to hold him off and grabs again. You'll hear them whistling in the crowd. That's a signal from Latino people and people from the Philippines. They don't like it. Both passionate fight fan bases. Casimir knows every trick inside. How to lean on a guy, how to put your arm around him, how to clamp, clamp down on one arm, punch with the other, and especially with the head. And you'll see Bradley when he gets in close sometimes, he will pull back his head to prevent anything from happening. Well, he, uh, Tim caught him with the right hand on the inside and backed up, Joel. Joel hangs on again, and every time he does it, there's a crowd reaction, and it's a negative crowd reaction. So people are not ingratiated by the way Casamayor is fighting right now, and he's been a two-time world champion. You know, Casamayor has been in action fights. They're not all like this. I mean, the first fight with Diego Corrales was unbelievable. Oh, he's been in a couple, yes. Yeah, the, the Catsidis fight was a tremendous slugfest. But he is 40 years old. And time will rob a great fighter and make him an average fighter. And that may be the situation we're seeing tonight. The bell ends the third round. You know, visiting with him and seeing him out in the lobby. He's been relaxed and happy, very happy and excited about this fight. You know, and he felt like he was going to do very, very well. But he 
and he seemed super confident to me, but he hasn't reacted that way tonight in the ring. He fought that way in the first round. Uh, in fact, I thought he may have won the first round. I scored it even, but I know the judges won't do that. And it taken a point away wow. now from Casamayor. The corner of uh, Casamayor yelling, Watch Bradley hit me behind the head. But it's Casamayor that lost the point. Casamayor in a really big hole now. He has any plans to win this fight, not just survive. I'll tell you, he turned his back again to Tim, and Tim, as a sportsman, he could have let that punch go and he pulled the punch. He could have really hurt him. You cannot turn your head. I mean, you know, a fighter should be warned about that too because that's really dangerous. Say one thing, Floyd Mayweather would have let that punch go. <laughs> well, yeah. He's always he demonstrated that. Well, some good sportsmanship shown by Timothy. Oh, another clash of hits. Well, that's the one thing I don't want to see tonight is have the fight stop. I want to see Tim, if he's going to win the fight, win it convincingly. I'll have Joel pick it up. Casimir landed a straight left there, Colonel. He snuck it in. He's. Latin crowd not uh, happy, chanting culero, which is not the most pleasant term. <laughs> is there any way you can water it down and tell us what it means? Uh, basically, like this sucks. Okay. <laughs> now we can get away with that word. <laughs> well, Bradley, doing his part. You know, when you're you're up against a, a guy like Asmayor, that that he's been in there. And there's nothing he hasn't seen. It's hard to let all your aggression go because you're you, you're constantly concerned about getting countered by the savvy veteran. Yeah, and he just got countered by him, just as you were saying that. But you know, Casamayor doesn't look like he has great balance to me tonight. The way that Tim is keeping pressure on his legs don't look like they're really underneath him. Tim attacks him, cracked him with the left hook. Oh, just missed with the big loop. And with the right hand that time. Bradley turning it up a little. He, he, he feels like like I do that he hurt him and keeping pressure on Casamayor I think is the best way of him to fight him now. But Tim when he got his back spun around he put his glove up there to be sure the guy didn't crack him behind. I think Tim wants to look spectacular or even if he has a fight that's not spectacular to produce a spectacular ending to it. Yes. Well that's all he has to do really Rich is, is have a spectacular ending and because as I said at the get go it's very hard to look good against this guy. He's winning the rounds all right but you know the way this guy fights and all his experience he can make you look bad in not winning rounds. And Rich and I are pleased to have Mario Lopez working with us for this big pay per view event internationally. Hope wherever you're watching you're enjoying it especially my boys down at the Valley Inn in uh, Christchurch New Zealand the hey. earthquakes have caused them a lot of problems but they are back up and running and they're watching to, it's a Sunday afternoon over there you know so That's they enjoy nice it, boys. watch fights. <laughs> Meanwhile Bradley having success, some success with those looping rights but Cepillo doing enough to hang in there. Comes with the uppercut, grabs again, and Rich, you were so right when you said to Vic he'd have his hands full. Talking about Vic Draculich, the third man in the ring, the referee. Tim a little frustrated, looks like to me. Vic is my homeboy from Reno, Nevada. There it is, a knockdown. Well, he caught him on the inside. The counts up to three. His eyes are fairly clear. He'll be able to get up. But that is definitely a knockdown. Can right. Tim Bradley close the show big? Uh, he was hurt. Yeah, he, he, he caught him with a short punch on the inside. And now let's see if Tim turns it up and out. Oh, he Big got his attention shot. again with that body shot. Good body punching by Bradley. He's, he's focusing his entire arsenal now downstairs. Look at that. Every punch has been a body punch here for the last 30 seconds. Desimio tries to hang on, doing what he can do to grab a couple of seconds, but he was hurt by the body shot. There it is again. Very light in the area of the kidney. There is the body shot again. And I like He's this attack. Him. Oh, body. Pummeling on him with body shots. Young, strong guy. Doesn't give him a chance to uh, hold. Gives the old dipsy doodle with a big circle around, bending at the trunk and coming up with the right hand. I'm not right. saying he can do it tonight because it certainly doesn't look like he can, but remember that Casamayor was down against Corrales, came back to win, was down against Katsidis, came back to win. 
Look at this body attack, Colonel. I mean, it's all body. It's terrific. And then he comes upstairs with the left hook, the straight right hand, bounces off the forehead of Casamayor. And again, Casimiro hangs on and walks him back on the heels. I really like this adjustment that Bradley made. He's having a lot of success with it. Realized that he was, Casimiro was a tough cast, uh, customer to catch. Flush, so he started working that body. Virtually very little offense off the hands of uh, Casimiro. And Tim realizes that and is, when he gets in that slugging area, he's throwing hard. That time he was victimized by a low blow. Vic tells Casimir to keep him up. But he's sneaky with what he does. Another vicious body shot, the left hook to the body by Tim Bradley. Again, a low blow by Casimir. Dracula saw it. Well, he took a point away in the last round. Those and he body was, shots taking his toll. Yeah, and he was oh, that another man. vicious body shot right at the bell. Well, that's another 10-8 round. There's a round previously to that was a 10-8 round because the point taken away for the low blows by Casamayor. Tim is really ripping those punches wow. to the body, just digging in with them. Every time you're stepping in, you're falling inside. If you just keep yourself. There it is. You see that right hand to the body, and down goes Casamayor. And it didn't stop. Being relentless with that body attack. Really ripping in, sometimes catching him in the arms and making that guard go down. Casamayor being forced to hold to try to survive. We've had our share of water tonight, gentlemen, from the uh, We're getting spilled on <laughs> blue corner. We go to round number seven. Anytime you work a live corner, you're going to get water on you for sure, and most times blood. That time he threw him down, but I think he's going to call it a knockdown. Now that's that's I think that I disagree with that call by Draculich. There were two body blows landed, but then Tim threw him down. Yeah, we'll get a chance to see it in the replay, but uh, Vic was actually positioned in close and what he saw the guy go down, and I don't think he realized that he was pushed down like that, but nonetheless, it's a knockdown. Score is set, so three consecutive rounds in a row is a 10-8 round for Tim Bradley, and that's not helping the cause of Casamayor. Casimir has got to be frustrated now, and this is usually when he could resort to something dirty. Head clashes, more low blows, more grabbing, and maybe grab and throw himself. He's definitely frustrated now and very much annoyed. But Tim just does what he has to do, goes with the right hand knee, bangs him to the body. And he, he got hit low again there by Casamayor. Bradley might as well just keep focusing all his attention downstairs. It's working for him, and I feel that last knockdown will be irrelevant if he keeps up this body attack, but hopefully he won't start headhunting now that he feels he's softened him up. Casimir has certainly shown nothing in his career that would indicate he would quit in this fight, but Bradley's trying to force him into submitting with a tremendous body attack. Uh, Casimir virtually very little uh, offense. He's trying to do it, but you know what? He's fighting like a 40-year-old man right now. You know, he's not sharp. He's not crisp. When this guy was in his prime. He was an accurate puncher. He's floundering around the ring. His legs aren't strong. He's weak in the thighs. And of course, Beautiful. a lot of that has to do with that another vicious body shot. Watch Tim get in position to land that body shot underneath the right elbow of Casimir. And that's the area of the liver. If he catches him right on it, he'll go. And he'll stay now. Well, Casamayor really protecting that area down there, right at the liver. Now he's got that elbow down. He didn't want to take another shot there, that's for sure. And Bradley would serve him well to try a double left hook. Hook to the body, hook to the head. Keeping that hand as low as Cepillo is. Tim is pleased with what he's doing so far. It's working for him. He comes up to the head that time, follows it up with a left hook, which grazes. Then he punishes him right to the body again. Well, I tell you, these body shots are going to hurt Casamayor, and they are because he's right down on his heels. Casamayor's showing a lot of grit and toughness. Oh, yeah. Well, he's tough. There's no question about it. Wiley Coyote. You see the way he's falling around the ring, though? He doesn't have good balance. He's heavy in the thighs, loose in the knees, heavy in the heels. Sign of an old fighter. Yeah. That's that double hook I was talking about. Well, other than the first round, I have Bradley pitching a shutout. There's a big attack 
by Bradley to the body and the, the knockdown, which looked more, which looked more like a, a push. There you, you see will. that body blow, the, the great body attack. And then he cuffed him around behind yeah. the back of the neck. And I, I don't think that's on my card halfway through the fight. And I'm, I'm right with you there at eight points. Uh, he can't win this fight the way it's going and the way he's fighting it. And for the first time, I mean, he, he, he looks like a 40 year old fighter. And Tim is doing everything he can do. Mind you, Joel Casamayor in the white trunks is still very, very crafty and still it's difficult to look uh, good against him, even though he's lost the last three rounds 10 8, 10 8, 10 8. Nice right hand by Bradley. And he busted him that time in the face with it. And he cracked him again with that one. Casamayor, we've got to be very frustrated now that. He can't execute what he used to be able to do in his younger days. Fighters can't feel it when they're in training. They don't see it, but it's a little slight things that separate the journeyman fighters from the champions, and you lose that with age. And that's what's happened with Joel. But this is a great fight for Bradley, assuming he gets past this tonight in uh, preparation for, for one Manny Pacquiao, at least facing a hey, obviously not with the same um, a speed and power, but the savvy, the savvy southpaw. Yeah, it's it's definitely a test for him because, as we said, you know it didn't start out easy in round one, and he took control by round two. And some may have Tim pitching a shutout. And the thing about Tim that's impressed me the most tonight is his body punching, the leverage that he gets on the body punch, the way he, it's like he digs his feet right into the canvas when he when he throws those. He well, really sits on them. Yeah, he's 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 doing that and very successful with it. Casimiro gets a light uh, sort of jab through there, the southpaw bouncing the right hand, but doesn't phase Tim at all. Now Bradley's gotten away from the body punching, other than that uppercut there. Just as the you say it. <laughs> That's always <laughs> the way. <laughs> the more fights you do, Mario, the more that'll happen. Yeah, yeah. I was on kill. <laughs> But he has become more of a headhunter in this round, and it may be that he th thought that in, in coming out for this enough. round that he could get he could get him and get him out of there. Sure. Well, he definitely wants to do that. We're in round seven. It's scheduled for 12. If we could take him out in this round or the next round, it would be terrific for Tim. But you got to break this guy down totally because a guy that's been through what he was through in Cuba and then coming to the United States, he's not going to quit. Oh no, you're exactly right, Colonel. This is a tough customer. A veteran, a proud man, been through some wars. He's not going to let this young buck just walk right through him. He's trying, but again, the age is showing, the sharpness or the lack thereof is showing. And Tim is doing everything he has to do, trying to control and gain control of a guy that's very, very slick in there and very awkward to fight. That's a slip. Las Vegas, this. Nevada, young Timothy Bradley. 28 year old sensation with an undefeated record of 27 and 0. Kind of beaten up on the old veteran and Joel Casamayor. Well, Bradley's corner urging him to get back to that body attack. He was relentless for a couple rounds and seems to have abandoned it. And could be what sees the deal. He got the mouthpiece for Lisa Pio, and now they resume. Either that or uh, Miguel Diaz, who's very crafty. To right, right, right. <laughs> Got right. him another 20 seconds. <laughs> Give him another 20 seconds. That's an old Angelo Dundee trick. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised some tape wasn't dangling either. Because <laughs> Miguel doesn't uh, doesn't forget mouthpieces. All right, so he gets an extra few seconds, and uh, our guy's keeping time. Steve Esposito and uh, Jim Cavan right on top of it. They start the bell on time. Casimiro trying to get off here in the eighth round. I feel an anticipation in the crowd, and I almost have it because it, it seems like Tim Bradley is just going to coast to win this fight, and everybody who wants to see Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao three, and the crowd kind of sitting in their hands right now, waiting in hopeful anticipation. Right, and of course these two guys had a tough act to follow. Let me yeah, tell you, just on the heels of the two wars we just saw, we had two pitched battles with the most heated exchanges and. Basically, four fighters just getting the hell kicked out of them. <laughs> Those guys deserve a long vacation after. Greatest uh, Prescott might have been ahead of Mike Galvarado, although it could have been at one point the other way. 
But Alvarado had to go to the 10th round when he scored with a series of uppercuts to win in just an action packed absolute war. And then uh, Juan Carlos Burgos won a majority decision over Luis Cruz. And my only question is why is that a majority it should have been a unanimous decision because Burgos did a great job against Cruz who was expected to win. He was the undefeated fighter in this one. It's the old season vet. There's another low blow and again Vic Dragon says come on keep it up. He doesn't really want to take it anymore. Uppercut on the inside by Tim snaps the head back again. Casamayor backs off and tries to fall with a right hand jab. Two good body shots and back upstairs. That's the one you were calling for, Mario. The left hook downstairs and back up to the head. Well, Sophia was protecting his kidney. Uh, pardon me, those liver when when uh, Bradley was was relentless with the body attack and he was left himself so open and now he's having some success with it. Just threw it just one more time. And and Bradley has really picked up his work output in this round, landing a lot more punches and he's mixing it up better. You know, he had been two rounds ago completely body, last round completely head, this round both body and head. And, and he, some blows really staggering. Yeah. Casamayor, yeah. this could be the beginning of the end, gentlemen. I think it is. He's got him in trouble right now. Only 17 seconds to go, but if he knocks him down, the count will continue. Casimir trying to lean on him to get some rest. Bradley wisely steps back and gets some distance. Nice pivot by Bradley to get a new angle and create that punch. There's that double punch. Oh, Big body shot that hurt him. Yeah, it hurt him uh, a lot. This, uh, and he and goes down, down he goes. That was on the liver, but he gets back up. He'll take the eight count. I think this fight's the over. Yeah, I think, I think it, this fight it really is over. should be. Yeah. I think Miguel Diaz is waving Diaz it off. Well, it off. he'd be disqualified if uh, Miguel didn't uh, say it's all over. Uh, he had him down uh, three times in the fight. What more can he ask from Tim Bradley against the seasoned professional? Look at this at the end. Yeah, he really set him up. He was landing both body and head, as we had mentioned a few moments before that. And Bradley came in looking for the kill. And, uh, you know, he was definitely, you could see in that round, he was loading up and looking for it. And he was really connecting with that double left hook to the body, to the head. And there's the big one that finally put him down. And Bradley got the big finish that he wanted. And the, the stoppage in impressive fashion, and Casamayor, as amazing of his career he's had, just a little too much for him tonight with one Timothy Bradley. No objection from Joel. No, he, he was beaten up at the end. He was out on his feet earlier in the round and just beaten to submission almost by a series of punches that put him down. Now we'll wait for the official announcement from uh, our ring announcer Michael Buffer, but Tim Bradley has done what he came to do. He switched the top rank. They put him in line in a tough fight with Joel Casamayor. And Casamayor used every possible tool in his arsenal, but he couldn't stand up to the younger, and more gentlemen, aggressive Tim Bradley. Here's Michael two Buffer. minutes, 59 seconds of the end of the eighth round. The winner by TKO victory and still WBO junior welterweight champion of the world, Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. I think you'll get more compliments on this fight.